club all night. That's that Crenshaw, y'all. Yo, you'd be surprised how many people haven't heard that album. Man, it's, it's up there with Victory Lap if it ain't overpassed you a little bit. I'm sorry. That's just me. That's just me. We know he evolved in the Victory Lap, but man, shh. Crenshaw, whew. Goodness gracious. This is your boy, Musa. Uh, if I haven't said it to you already, assalamu alaikum. And that means peace in the Arabic language. And like, 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 and share this video, y'all. Uh, I was coming across one of my feeds and uh, my YouTube feeds, and I always listen to Boyce Watkins, and he always have uh, uh, my my brother, uh, Dr. Claude Anderson, and he's been on his power uh, nomics tip for us for the longest. I'm going to leave a link in the description box. And... This is from the Detroit Free Press. Uh, let me see. If this is Detroit, who is this? Um, Detroit Public TV. I subscribe to their channel too. And I'm going to play some audio from him in his earlier days. But man, it's so relevant right now, man. And, and I need to pick up, I need to pick a book up and see more in detail on how we were fashioning to be what we are right now. It's real frustrating. To look at the truth. But we must be able to look at the truth and be real with ourselves. So with no further ado, I am about to play this audio. Uh, Powernomics, America's Black Journal. Make sure I got enough volume on here. And here we go. Joined now, as promised, by Dr. Claude Anderson, author of the book Black Labor, White Wealth, The Search for Power and Economic Justice, and Dr. Anderson, I'd like to say once again, thank you for joining us on this edition of The Journal. Darrell, thank you again for inviting me back to your show. We are hearing that people are responding to this book intensely, perhaps would be the best word I could think of. The book is being bought uh, by the dozens, literally, because people are starting to, I guess, identify with some of the concepts you're bringing up in the book. What we get in this book is a historic context for the situation African Americans or blacks, whichever term is politically correct this week, find themselves in, in this country, whether it be economic, political, whether it's the social pathology that we suffer from in this country, in our neighborhoods, or whatever it might be, your book addresses it. It addresses it succinctly and it addresses it with a scholarly and informational background. I commend you on the work in the book, and I'd like to ask you, what was the genesis for the book? Uh, Daryl, there, there are probably a number of things. First of all, I could say there was a dissatisfaction with what was happening politically in this country as it was affecting black folk. Uh, I could say there was a response to the, uh, the book, The Bell Curve, which proclaimed that black folk were genetically inferior. Mm -hmm. And what I want to do is tell black Americans that you're not genetically inferior, that you've been socially engineered into your present uh, predicament around this world. Mm -hmm. uh, and I also could say that it was a response to the contract with white America. Mm -hmm. And to tell black folk that that contract is not new, that it's, it was first uh, issued in 1638 by the Maryland colony. Mm -hmm. And nothing has changed. And that black folk are still fighting for self-sufficiency and competitiveness in this country and that we must come together quickly or what risk being a permanent underclass in the society. One of the alarming predictions. That is so true. And you know, br Brother Neary, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I don't want to get it out of quote. Uh, we don't need uniform. We need unity across the board. Spend $5 with this brother, spend $5 with other brother, spend $5 with other brother. I mean, uh, forget the religious crap. We're in a situation that only us can get ourselves out of. And whatever God you may serve, believe that that other shit alone. We've been divided by uh, religion, uh, ethnicity, um, social, economically, educationally. Hell, you know, even with the land. 
Now they're trying to gentrify that. So leave me some comments. Let me know what you think about the video. Uh, like this video. Make sure you share, if anything. That's all I really ask. That's all I really ask. I want to thank you for your time, for putting your eyeballs on this screen. And I want to come to you in this peace. As-salamu alaykum.